is Valley News Live at 6. A lot of people have been going out there for many, many years, longer than I have. And uh, to change something that's running so well just seems kind of crazy. There's plenty of music, drinking, and camping, but policy enforcement of campsites at WeFest has some concern. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. Stephanie has the evening off. WeFest is an annual tradition for thousands, and for some diehard fans, now is the prime time to purchase tickets for next year's event. A woman contacted our whistleblower hotline after noticing the WeFest policy on camping is changing. As Valley News Team's Ashley Bishop explains, some think it will change the entire camping experience. Trash bags are all that is left on the campsites at WeFest grounds from this year. But many people, like Trisha Ellertson and her friends, have bought tickets for next year's concerts. Well, the biggest reason we go is to be with our friends. For the past 18 years, Trisha has been camping at WeFest with her friends, who come from all across the state of Minnesota. When buying tickets this year, Trisha noticed that camping would be different. We saw on the website that they were going to put everyone in as they drove in instead of kind of the way we've been doing it. We just kind of pick a spot and, and save some spots for everybody. Concerned that they changed the policy, Trisha emailed WeFest, only getting a response that if you wish to camp together, you must arrive together. If we got on this road at the same time, the traffic, the way it is going in there, you could get split up just from the cops directing traffic here and there. WeFest officials did not want to appear on camera, but do tell us this is not a new policy. They say if you plan to camp with family and friends, you should arrive together, and they do plan on enforcing the rules. At the Lake Sally Campground, a sign is posted with campsite rules stating their policy. Trisha says camping with her friends is a huge part of the WeFest experience and worries about who she might be placed next to next year. You always have the chance of meeting great people like we did 18 years ago, but you also have the chance of having some younger, rowdier kids. In Detroit Lakes, Ashley Bishop, Valley News Live. Representatives of WeFest did not go into detail about how the policy will be enforced. We'll continue to investigate and bring you the latest as we get more information. If you need help with an issue in your community, call our whistleblower hotline 701-237-6576. Do so and leave your tip.